Welcome back to the re-review and today we're going to take a look at Leo from Long Winter Studios. And if you go into the Long Winter Studios store site, you see the character selection there. You can go directly to the character page and you can see all of their fantastic rigs, including Stompasaurus, which I had in my last FNA about balance. So in case you were wondering what that character was, it was right there. And they also have a page with pose libraries and pickers, so check all of that stuff out. So if you are new to the Long Winter menu, I can go down here and bring this into frame. You got a Long Winter, you have Activate Scene, Character Manager, Speed Pick, Hand Key, Snap Notes, Update Tools, Logout, and Help. So you select Character Manager, and I'm going to make this a tiny bit smaller. There you go. And as you can see, when I go around here, you can see it starts to activate. So you can dock this into your Maya if you want to. And I might as well dock it here on the left, like such. And then you have all your rigs in here. It's a neat little menu. You got also your classic rigs and your props right there. So you scroll down and here is Leo selected reference character. And it's going to say, please activate your scene. I'm going to say a long winter activate scene. So I said, yes, I want to download and it's calculating and doing its thing here. Boom. And here we go. Leo shows up like this. Put on textures. You can turn this on off if you want. And here he is in all of his glory. Full disclaimer, as you saw in the menu here, you have to activate the scene and you have to pay. So again, check out the website for the prices for the rigs. I got a year membership from Long Winter to check out all the rigs. So full disclaimer, I did not pay for this rig. All right, so now we're back here. And as always, I'm gonna start at the bottom with the main controllers and then the feet. I don't know why, but that's what I do. You have a layer here for the geometry on off. And this is by the way, with color management on like this. All right, so then you got the inner menu. That moves your character around. You have the outer menu right there. And then you have one more. None of these have any other options on the side. So these are just there to select and move your characters. As always, if you have something like this for me, that's always an opportunity to bring that character low. And now you have a new pivot to move the character around with a pivot in the chest if you want to. So checking out the middle one here, if you do select this, you have again an option to move your character around but now this time you have the orient you can see this here on off option here and the gimbal option you can see this in the shoulder it goes on and off and blend shape activators on or off so these are the options there and going down to the feet you got your big main controller let's go around here moves the feet and as you rotate the feet it just moves the foot so if you want to move the knee you move it with the pole vector. Going down here, it gives you an option to scale, which is always cool. Look at that, it's a ginormous. <laughs> Sorry, I will never grow up. So you have this here, you have the upscale. Let me zoom up for that. As a lot of rigs have, you can scale your leg in all kinds of ways. And you, same thing with the down version, going crazy here and in this way and in Z as well. The auto stretch is on off. So right now when I take the leg out, it stops. But you add auto stretch, boom, now you got stretchiness. You also have the twist option for your knee if you don't want to use the pull vector. And by the way, the pull vector has your transit options and PV parent non flip character spine bottom and spine top options. Going back to the foot here, you have snap. So that is your beep right there. Knee snap, which is awesome when you have to lock down the knees depending on the pose. Love that. Every rig should have that. There's a heel raise like this. There is a heel roll like this. There is a heel swivel like that. There's a ball swivel. You can see this here, how the front part is not moving. There is a bank in. That's an interesting shape there. There's a bank out. And there is a foot roll, which I guess I would call a heel, heel pivot, huh? Where the heel roll is actually what is usually called the foot roll. But anyway, check that out. In the back here, you can see here, leg switch, bam, goes to FK. So as with everything, you can move that stuff around here and you have scale options. If you do this, whoop, whoop, you can still scale a character, same thing here, scale and move around, nothing else in the channels, all classic stuff. Back to this here, let's go back to IK. You have your parent, spine top, leg orient, and here, same thing. So lots of controls and sub controls. 
And if you turn those soft controls on, they're right there. So there is a... Ah! It's a tongue! It's a tongue in my foot! <laughs> but you can move all this around. You can translate and scale. So you have all kinds of options here still. To move this around again, you can move all kinds of things around and re-sculpt if you want to. Then up here, you got your toes you got your pivot here but you can also translate this around here you got options for more toe no scale but translate as well and here's another one this is your foot roll scale interesting going out there and translate like that so lots of options and since we're here you have your benbows so if you need to do anything they're clearly marked as separate options and you can scale so again you can kind of reshape your character if you want to give them bigger legs and move this around and so lots of options are there speaking of options holy moly look at this this feels like a futuristic hologram thing here what is this outer ring here this is your leo flex cog so center of gravity this will be your root controller to move things around go one in that is the leo spine move this around bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. And you can move it around like that. You have your spine switch and your sub controls on off. So again, turn this on off. You can see how it simplifies all the controls. I'm going to keep this on so you can see what that does. So there are these guys here. And that's your spine adjust for more sculpting options, which is kind of cool. Turn this off though for visibility clearance here. Now, this is misleading. It looks like there are three, but it's not. <laughs> it's just that you don't, you can't select these, but you can select this one. So this will be your, what they call this spine sub. So again, lots of options of rotating your spine around and doing things if you don't want to use layers. Going one more in, now here is your separate hip control, which I'm a big fan of that it only moves the hip around and not the chest. And as you can see here, there is a bit of squash and stretch included there. Good stuff. And that one, you can see here, that is the leg clavicle. That's interesting. That's what you usually have for the shoulders. It gives you here, and you can also transit this around. I don't think you ever noticed that this is called a clavicle and other rigs, but there we go. That's your option there. It's almost like an ILM logo here with that wheel, old school ILM logo. Then you're up here, and again, this is your spine pelvis moving things around like that. So you can see that when you move this around, this is the movement like that. And if I select that one separately here, this is the movement like that. Then you go one up here. Now you're getting into separate spine options and movement options. And of course, you can rotate and translate around. Then let's go to arms. You have here your clavicle. Select this and you can move this around. I don't see an auto clavicle function, but you can rotate and everything here. This will be your upper part for the FK arm. Ah, ah, broken this way for your arm and then this way for your wrist. But of course, you can select this here, and this will be your arm switch, bam, into FK. So now the box changes, and you have this here. So as always, you got your FK changing here. You got twist option here, if you don't wanna use this. And you have your snap option, which I love so much. So if you have to uh, put your elbows on a table or something. And of course, you have all your scale options. Let's select all of them and go crazy. As you know, these are your scale options there. But if you go back to this controller, you have curl for your fingers. Whoop! It's actually a lot of leeway here. Usually it's like 0 to 10. So a lot of numbers here. For your curl, there is a spread as well. There is fan back. Interesting. Fanning like this. It's a new one. Fan forward. Plus minus here. Palm cupping, which is almost kind of like a fan option there. And palm spread going out like that. That being said, you can go in here and you can translate your finger, rotate your finger, and you can select all of these. If I just did, I think I did, kind of. And if you select on these, you have scale options for your fingers. Again, some remodeling if you want. And I believe that's it for the fingers. Thumbs, there's no FK. There's no IK for fingers, if that's what you're looking for. But you have arm IK, parent, spine top, and characters again all of these options are available there as well let's go back and switch to fk there you go and of course you got your bembos for all of this select down here weep, weep. with a scale 
So all those bamboos, and of course this is all mirrored. Going back here, there's nothing else in the back, although the shape of the controller is a bit different there. That will be on both sides, of course, and you have a tattoo on this arm, a tattoo here as well. Can I select the geometry? Hold on. Turn off the reference on that layer, take this, hide, and here we go. So you got tattoo on the back, tattoo here, tattoo here, and here, a couple of stars. Should we check the pants? Naked man, no tattoos here. Let's go back, put some clothes back on here. And let's go to the neck area. So you have this for your, it's your IK neck here. Go one up here, and that is your IK neck like that. And here is your upper neck like this, which you can rotate, translate, and yes, you can give this a bobblehead look. Let's go back here. You have sub controls on the head. Look at that. Let's turn this off here so you can see this. And you can see how the lines are broken up so you actually see the difference of what that is. Sub controls, again, gives you more control there for all kinds of line of action and curvature and scaling options. So if you want to reshape this, there's also isolate rotation and turn this off. So now when you do this, you got your FK style. And then with this one, it will create something like this, where it actually takes upper part and shoulders width. That's interesting. Here are the options. Turn this off like that. I'm personally more a fan of the FK head approach. And I know you have to kind of counter things, but with the IK head, you always have to kind of get rid of that IK look and feel. Not a massive fan, but that's just me. Now, going up here, why go to the face? Let's go to the cigar. So you have a cigar. Ooh, there's a burn option. Uh-huh, you get texture change there. You can, of course, rotate this around. You can give this a massive, massive size. That's it. There's no length size unless you want to do it like this. So then you have your bigger cigar. And sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. And then you have your outer ring controls for this. One more for this. I mean, all kinds of things. I just select the one axis here. Same thing here. So now you have your parent, main parent option. So if I move this around, cigar goes with it. If you select the outer ring here, head IK, you can say character. So if I do this here, it's going to stay put. So then if I choose the root, you can see that it's still locked in place. I select the main thing here. Now the cigar follows. So you have all kinds of options in terms of parenting and where it follows. Again, you got character, head IK, arm settings. I'm going to go back to head IK. Why not? Well, actually, I'm going to move this aside so we can see what's going on here. Here, Squawker, what is this? Ooh, room, room, room. All right, you got some jaw option here. Select this, what is that? Ooh, that's your bigger jaw. This is the jaw easy, interesting. So you have translate like this, and you have translate up and down. Jaw controls like that. If I say this here, lip lock, ding, there you go. So you have an option with this to move the jaw around in rotational form, as we're all used to. But if you go with the outer one, you can translate. That being said, I like this option here. If you go back to the lip lock so that you have the option if you chew around. Now, what's visible here is that one of the mustache goes down. So watch out for that. That could be a little fix that can be addressed. Let's keep this mouth open, though. Speaking of mustache, why not? Let's go straight to this. You can move this around. You can also translate this around and rotate. It's revealing this guy here, which is your overall mouth shaper. Nice, clean shapes on the mouth. You can see a tremendous amount of options here. So you have shaper here, and then you have another lip shaper here. So definitely a ton of options. Speaking of options, you got your cheeks. You can move this around. I don't see anything in the channels. Scale, yes, you can, in case you want to. And then you got your bigger lip option here. Very cool. Can I? Let me see. Ooh, you can take the mustache off. There you go. And that way I can go up here. You have the upper lip function. Can I rotate? No. So this is here just to give you some creasing option. Yep, it's called nose crease. Interesting. Lots of details, and that's kind of cool. And this is called a roll top here. Even it's roll, it's through a translate. Then let's go back up here. So this is your middle section. I can move around. You can see it actually moves the mustache around. Bring this back. Mustache is back here. So now you have this. 
Yeah, so watch out, there's some stuff going on in the mustache. This is the nose control, so you can move this around. Now you can sneer, sneer this up and down, and you can sneer to the right, but you can also take this and do the same thing there. This is your lower part of the head, and you can scale around and translate, and this will be the upper part of the head. Just double checking before I say anything that I might have missed, and I don't see anything here in terms of sub controls. I wish that if you move the nose around, that it's actually, I mean, I know you have separate controls, right? You can move just this, and you can move just that, and this just says everything, but like if a bigger nose control like this one that moves everything, but not those side ones. I think that would be kind of cool. And also nothing with the mustache. I kind of need to move this. And I know it's pulling the skin up here. That's why the mustache is reacting. But a way to lock the mustache, just in case, that'd be kind of neat. Ooh, that's kind of cool though. It's a very quick, oh, look at that. That's cool. I do like that. And then you got options right there too. But again, a way to limit the influence on the mustache would be kind of cool. Let me hide the hat just in case. Aha, uh -huh. reveals this here, and this will be your skull squasher. Let's go here. The bigger controls, of course, move the eyebrow. Ooh, but I like how it influences the rest around it. Of course, I selected this. Let me turn this back off. You got that here, including the outside, and you have your more specific options here to really go crazy. Of course, you can take all of these, and on top of that, do that if you're gonna go crazy. That's kind of cool, I like it. Here is your eye control. Let me see. So this moves the whole thing around and ooh, rotate just the skin, not the eyeball. But let's see, shape controls, minor controls. Turn this on and as you can see, a ton of options. So you move this around here and you can move that for all kinds of reshaping. That's cool. Turn this off a little bit for visibility. Going back here, there's one in the middle. This is just rotate for the eyeball only. Now I follow, I'm gonna say zero. So if I do zero and I move this around, you can see it moves around. You can see how the eyeball is going crazy here. Let me go back in here, select this, say I follow, bam, you can see what that does here, right? Same thing, lid follow and it's at half before, the option was at half, but that was what it was here at 0 0.5. There is also a twist option here. There is a side to side any up down if you don't want to do this using these guys here now there is some intersection you're gonna to have to go up like this so all kinds of options in terms of rotate translate and scale if you do want to do just a blink you have this option here for closing it this is deforming nicely actually same thing here you can go all the way down open this even a bit more these are your options for your eye again just do this separately and these are your separate shapers and then you have this one here now you can't translate rotate scale anything this is for an option the option here is the iris size whoa i gotta go very carefully oh, okay you have pupil size in x pupil size in y pupil pinch that's interesting never seen that one before and then pupil in y it's very cool but of course you can go out here and this is also your eye control so if you're looking around you can see here Oh, because I have my eye follow off. You can go back here. I follow beep on uh, one. And you can see here, it does this. And your eye global aim parent for character head or spine, which I like as well. So that if you do this here and you move your head, you can see how the eyes just follow. I'm not always a big fan of this. I like to change this to character. So if you do this, it follows like that, right? So I'm looking around. So I like to do the... Let's, personal workflow I like to do the eyes like this and that is your look at the Leo rig speaking of rigs and looks <laughs> segueing into check out the playlist in the description for all my other reviews of rigs if you do have rigs send me an email if you want me to review your rig if you don't have a rig to review but you found one you can also email me and you can send me a link to wherever you found it I'll add it to my list I will post it on animationbuffet.com and I will also review it when I have the time and that's it. Thank you for watching.